Hey, what's up? We are here with Drew Bazanson. You nailed it the yes! first time. You know how many times it took me? What, what, yeah, is, is it that... gets butchered a lot. It's a whole lot of letters mixed together and, uh, you know, some people might think it's Drew B. Dancing, but, but that's by Drew... night. It's Drew B. Dancing oh, by day. Oh, you'll be here Drew all night, night, by night yo. So what? we are going to learn to talk like a BMX rider. Dump 360. <laughs> yes. Take me there. There's like, you know, your basic 360 mm -hmm. where you just go up and you go around once. You, you know, the dip, you dunk it, whatever you want. It's just, you know, adding that little bit extra flavor to it. Like you're just sprinkling it on and you're almost upside down, but it's like in between a flip and like a 360. So it's not really a three, it's not really a flip, but it's a dipped three. So it's a just- A dipped three yes. while doing a 360. Yes. Okay. When you drop in random places, like going to a mall or going, like, what do you mean dropping Sorry. in random places? There's the course. We have our uh -huh. course. Uh -huh. And when you go into the course, we call it dropping in. Okay. Snapping. Right. Tell me about snapping. Snapping it? Because this is what snapping is to me. No. no. Like, if you snap a trick, you just kind of like extend it super far. It's, you know, it's snapped. Kind of getting offline there, but still nice. Snapping that flare on the quarter pipe and going back into the hip. Like, in certain tricks, you can kind of like ease into it or you can snap, snap into it. it. Okay. I got and it. you can definitely get when you snap it like certain tricks, like you're it's just gonna look that much better. Snapping it. Mm -hmm. Next one, tail whip. Tail whip. It's just a, a basic trick, but um, we hop up off the pedals, kick the bike around, hop back on. So the, the tail of the bike is whipping around. He says a simple trick. Let's it's, let's let's roll into a couple other ones. Cash roll. <laughs> to me, I'm thinking I'm at the bank and I'm getting uh -huh. a cash roll. What is that in BMX terms? It's a new trick that was invented a few years ago. The rider, Daniel Dares, who invented it, is from Venezuela. Oh. Learned a lot of his English listening to rap, rap songs. Music. Okay. So when he figured out this brand new trick. Pump it in. Yes, cash roll. Cash roll. He was like, you know what? I'm gonna land this in competition, and then it's just gonna make the cash, cash roll. roll. Okay, you so got it, folks. That's how you got the name. So, where does Goofy Foot lead into this? Because to me, it's even, no? For myself, I spin to the left and I'm right foot forward. Oh. So, that's like a normal way. Okay. If I spun to the left and was left foot forward, that would mean I'd be a Goofy Footed rider. Okay. And it's just the way you ride, which way you spin, and the pedal placement. I think I'd be goofy all the time. Well, so it's just your personality. <laughs> it... Tuck no hander? Yes. What? I can't, I can't even guess <laughs> on that. Well, it's called the tuck no hander because you go up the ramp, the bars fall back into your lap, and it tucks nicely. Is it always it, nicely? I mean, if you got a belt buckle on sometimes, mm. sometimes it doesn't mm. feel mm. pleasant. Belt but buckle, folks. Yeah, definitely. that's why a lot of us ride with the shoestring belt. Okay. So Anyways, it tucks? It tucks into your stomach, you pinch with your knees, and then you do the no-hander. I, I, but they can't I, say, like, he tucked the bike into his lap and did a no-hander. It's just way too much to say. So we just, you know, break it down, you know, make no it a little hander. bit slower. You know more than I do now. No, I do, really. I'm going to just do all these things, making money, mm -hmm. cash, 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 cash money. Ca cash roll. Cash roll, roll. all these the cash things. Cash will be rolling. Cash will be rolling Perfect. once people watch this. <laughs> all right, now we know how to talk like a BMXer with the great Groove.